are so honored that you were able to make it out here with your tight schedule. So tell us a little bit about the 5K run that you're a part of. Well, the purpose of the uh, 5K run is to raise money to support new businesses that want to locate in Maywood. Eventually, we are trying to create a fund to assist well-qualified business owners by providing them with grant money as they move into Maywood. We are doing everything we can to encourage business development in Maywood. We want more business to come to Maywood, and I'm making an aggressive push to accomplish that goal. That is one of the main things that I want to do. I want to have the vibrant commercial district like our neighbor towns of Forest Park, Merrill's Park, Oak Park, and North Riverside. And I believe, as many Maywoodians do, that there is no reason that Maywood, the village of eternal light, shouldn't be thriving economically. We have everything we need, all the amenities that any business could want, including great success to transportation with the CTA Blue and Green Lines and Metro Train service running through the town. We are right off the expressway, and I might add that Maywoodians are working hard to keep this happening. So, Mayor, tell, tell me, what is it that uh, drew you? Are you going to be a part of Are you going to actually run in the marathon? Or no, <laughs> I'm not going to run in the marathon, but I'm going to be there to help uh, to do anything that I can do to make sure this is a very successful 5K run. Our sponsor is Mrs. Chadden, and she is a Maywoodian. Okay, wow. So if someone wants to be a part of uh, this 5K run, how can they get in contact uh, with the people, or what should they do? They can call my office at 450-4492, or they can call Mrs. Chapman Lewis. Okay. okay. So tell us how the uh, 5K uh, came about. What was the main purpose of the 5K? The purpose of the 5K was, like I said, to raise money for business that wants to come into the village of Maywood, and we provide grant startup money to help them to make this happen. Okay, okay. So we're, we're looking forward to uh, being there and doing some live coverage of the wonderful event. So, Thank you. Uh, so is there anything else that uh, you would like to add about this wonderful event and about Maywood? Because you are the mayor, and uh, tell, tell us uh, what, is, what is the mayor uh, looking for out of this wonderful event? Well, it will be on at the Middles Meadows at First Avenue, okay. and we have a sponsor. You can sponsor an adult for $35 or you can sponsor a child for $25, and we're soliciting support and sponsors that will help us out so we can get this initiative off the ground. Well, well great, great. Now, uh, are there anything else that uh, you want to add um, about this event? Well, the young lady that's doing this is a Maywoodian. She was raised in the village of Maywood. She has an office in Donna's Grove and she has a not-for-profit program and she, the program has adopted the village of Maywood. So we have been adopted by her program so that we, the village of Maywood, can get things off the ground as far as taking care of all these, bit, these empty lots and bring business here to the village of Maywood, which is so much needed. Wow, amazing, amazing. So we're looking forward. If you have any questions, you can give us a call right now on Smooth 90.5 FM at 708-345-0563 or 630-215-8582. That's right, give us a call at Smooth 90.5 FM if you would like to have a uh, chat with the mayor about the 5K run that is going to be held at Miller Mellows Forest Preserve. This is uh, on June 11th, and hopefully I'll be uh, well and able to get out there and do the run. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to have surgery real soon. <laughs> but uh, we're looking forward. We're going to go to a commercial break. If you have any questions, give us a call 708-345-0563. Smooth 90.5 FM. Join Smooth 90.5 FM HD Radio for three incredible days of music and power and faith and fun. 
appreciate it. The historic Idlewild Resort on Williams Island in Idlewild, Michigan. All beginning at long. The fest is held to commemorate and celebrate the history of well-known African-American entertainers and professionals who performed in old... So we're also sponsoring this event called so Idlewild Music Festival. So if you had uh, someone who can run a commercial just like this, I'm about to find it. Okay. And how much is that? $25. Okay. We run a whole production of this. Okay. I'll have my secretary uh, put it together and get back to you and give you the uh, okay. I appreciate that. All right. Thank you. Like I said, I've been going to come, but like this came up, so I said this was a perfect time to get this done. Going this morning to get a shot in this right knee. <laughs> Okay, definitely. We're going to make time for Mayor Perkins. Well, I appreciate anything. It. Let me pray for you because uh, I had a laminectomy and I had uh, a fuse in my years ago. And uh, I had a nerve pressure disability and it went and fused it. Oh, wow. And that was years ago. Well, let me get a picture of you if you don't mind. No problem. No problem. Okay. Let me get you right up against the backdrop. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that because we're going to do a fest and I'll let you know. So well, we were trying to do a fest called uh, Back to the Community out here, but we're dealing with the issues with the mayor. That's why I went to talk with uh, Mr. Martin to uh, do the concert because May Maywood and Melrose Park and Bellwood, we've been hit. I'm a resident of Maywood. Uh -huh. And my home has, I moved here in 2007, my home has gotten hit total five times with this flood. Oh, yeah. So a lot of businesses are closing up and we need to bring Maywood back together. And that's the purpose of Smooth 90.5 FM. We're, it stands for Gospel Smooth Jazz Blues Community Talk Radio. Now we're on Sirius XM Radio, we're on iHeart Radio, and we're on HD Radio Channel 2 and HD Channel 3. So we're syndicated all over, so we want everyone to listen in. And we have nightly shows, and we I'm on Detroit Jazz Radio as well, and Smooth 90.5 FM here in Chicago, Maywood. Uh -huh. And what I'm trying to do is do a concert out here in the back, but I'm dealing with the building manager. I'm in all this parking lot out here where they don't have to tear up the park off. Provides all these grass and everything because I know it's going to cost money. We don't want it to be like Lollapalooza. Yeah. But, you know, all this vendors can sit up out here in the back and everything. Yeah. And then that's all why I was talking to you about doing a training program for young high school kids so they don't go out here to Kendi King College or Illinois Broadcasting School and have their money taken from them. Where we train them here on a Saturday. We tried it, but evidently some of the youth did not come. We tried it for three Saturdays, nobody came and everything. And did you advertise it? Yeah, yeah. We even talked to Don uh, uh, Roll. Okay. okay. And I uh, see your face. Put, put, put it together and okay. I'll get it on the website. Okay. I'll get it on the website. Put it together, I get it on the website and we'll see if we cannot reconvene this. Okay. Because there are children out here that need this. Uh, I didn't hear anything about it, so I'm not yeah. saying that either. But put it together. I'll get it on the website okay. and get the word out. All right. So you can do We want young kids so they don't have to, when they graduate from Proviso East or West, and they want to get into journalism, broadcasting, learning how to work the news camera and everything. We'll train you so you get college credit so when you go down to Roosevelt or Kendi King College or Illinois Broadcasting School, you have some knowledge, you have some training. It's, it's an internship program and you are able to understand so when you get out here in the real radio market, you're not run over like 
Ramoski Love, this member Lee's from Crawford Broadcasting. You know, they want to do what they want to do. I own the station, so I'm not owned by any of the hubs. I got you. So we, we want to train young kids. Have you talked to the um, superintendent, uh, um, the principal and the superintendent? No, we're going to go up there this week and try to talk to them. Well, they're on vacation this week. They'll be back next week. Okay. Because, um, 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 I want to uh, get them to work with me for this project. Okay. So let me know, and I'll let them know that you're trying to get in touch with them concerning the program that you want to run. Okay. Because actually, the village of Maywood, and it's unfortunately the term we have is really keeping. Maywood has two hundred and fifty thousand mm dollars -hmm. in training money okay. for the children. Wow. Because um, I went up there to apply for the TIF funds. They told me there's no more TIF funds available. No, not, not, uh, so you're on, um, they said First Avenue at Roosevelt. Well, uh, right, because you're on, you're on Roosevelt. Let me see here. Let me see. You're first, first is out. Washington and St. Charles. Uh, no, St. Charles is the one that's out, but, uh, Washington, Roosevelt. Uh, and Roosevelt Road. I would say I'll find out and okay. get back to you. Okay. But the 250 has nothing to do with any particular spot. Okay. You have a training program, you put it together, and you present it at the village board. Okay. But he's always held it up because he's saying it's not enough of this and not enough of this. And mm -hmm. we've had two or three people who have attempted to get the funds, but he always has an excuse or a reason why they don't. Qualify. Okay. So, but I said, if you have your program and so forth, and you get back to me, and I'll get you in on the the uh, uh, LLC meeting that you would come before the board, okay. and let them know what you're trying to do. Okay. But that's two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's in the bank. Wow. It's in the bank. Well, I am so honored. That's a great. Let me help you with your code. No, I'll get that. Oh. Okay. Station. I oh no, I'm gonna it. get the door for you. I'm not gonna let another, <laughs> another, another woman open the door by herself. No, no, no.